Hello again, it's Thing with Jig, and welcome to another Redstone video. Today I'm going to show you how to make use of a rather bizarre minecart bug to build transport systems that require no rails. So, what is the bug? If you have quite a lot of minecarts in one space, they will and push them off the rails, they will somehow continue to propel each other along. Um, and they can continue pretty much forever, unless they hit something. <clears throat> now, if you've come across this bug, it's probably by accident, and it's rather chaotic, and things get stuck. But if used properly, you can do some pretty epic things. Now, before making use of any bug, you need to have a decent understanding of how it behaves. So, when pushed off the rails, they will continue until they hit something or get destroyed. They can go up the rails and along rails without needing any sort of power drill at all. And you, if you have this sort of setup with walls alongside your path, they will be contained and go in a straight line. Also, they don't really like going over lots of curved rail and can split up and get stuck and separate and all sorts of things you don't want to happen. Now, due to curved rails being rather dodgy, it's quite tricky to have a turning system, a comma, and actually you can't set off these minecarts just by pushing them with a piston either. So you have to do this sort of setup um, where you push the minecarts up to here, they will stop, and you use a, another piston to move them off in the other direction. And they're started by this sloped rail. Now you can do this, or you can also make this by adding some pressure plates and observers and things. And here, when the minecart goes on the piston, on the pressure plate, the observer is pulled away, and when the pressure plate is reset, the observer will be pushed back there, and this minecart will make it carry it on its way and the other half of the system will activate but it won't have any effect yeah now you also might want to have some sort of reversing system so you have a slope rail which you'd have to place like this and then a block up here and then that then it, you can then the minecarts just get returned. In case this doesn't seem doesn't end up being reliable, you can add a system by which the minecart gets stopped there, and then when the pressure plate resets, the piston will fire. So we can show that in action. And it works. So, in regular minecart systems, it's quite useful to have something where minecarts from this direction will continue in a straight line, but minecarts from this direction will go a different way. Now, this can be done in a rather more complicated way. Um, you have a drop, you, you, hang on, you stack at least five minecarts to make one of these, and then you stop them, let them drop onto this rail, and they will continue like that, and going the other way, they will go along the low route. You'll probably also want a way to store your minecarts, and 
Usually, you'd use something like this with a cactus, and the cactus destroys the minecart. But for some reason, with stacked minecarts, the cactus seems to destroy quite a few of them. And I don't know a way to fix this. Uh, if you do, please tell me. But when you have them in item form, you can put them into a dispenser, and then you can use either a system like this, which I won't explain, it took me a while to make, where the number of items in this dropper is the number of times this dispenser will fire. This should give you all the angles you need to recreate the circuit, or you can just use this sort of setup, um, where the number of dispensers Sorry, the number of observers determines how many pulses get sent through. This is probably better for small systems like this. Um, and that will create a minecart. And then you can either push in the opposite direction to set off, or you can press this button to set off the powered rail. And then you'll be on your way except you will make it better than that. Now, due to the fact that it's difficult to turn all of them into item form, it's quite a good idea to have a system where you store them just as the stacked minecarts. So, you stack up five minecarts here, and you send them along, and they go up, some rails, they don't need any extra power, and they will just land on top of the rest of the pile. Now we have this string up here, which is used as a tripwire so that it will detect if this tube gets full. When the string gets activated, a, a signal gets sent to the dispenser, and when it gets deactivated, the dispenser will clear the lava. So this will stop any extra minecarts trying to enter the tube, because if they piled up here, that would cause quite a lot of problems. So to remove a minecart from the system, you slide in a slab like this, which will pull the minecart from the bottom out, and it will go on a sloped rail and go over this simplified version of the corner, because this only needs to go in one direction. Then it moves up, we have another simplified corner, moves down, drops down onto this rail and goes on its way. And then when you put it back into storage, it goes up. So this is really good for making transport networks. It's superior to regular minecarts by cost, certainly, and the only downside I can see is that minecarts that end up coming out of the network can go rather out of control. But apart from that, it only takes five minecarts, which is 24 iron ingots, and there's no risk of taking suffocation damage, and you can probably fit several players in the same stacked minecart, though I haven't tested this. So that's it for today, everyone. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more original redstone, and I'll see you next one. Until then, goodbye.